Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Thrones of Britannia. This is episode two of my Wessex campaign. And in the last episode, we mainly spent the majority of our time just managing the empire. Obviously, Wessex starts off extremely large with plenty of vassals. We spent a large portion of that time just building up our farms as food is super important in Thrones of Britannia, as well as just maintaining and kind of improving public order around the realm. We have got kind of depleted on our food surplus at the moment, so we're going to have to probably spend a lot more of our money in improving our food and maybe seeing if we can take away some of the food supply over from East Angular, who are our first enemy in this campaign. We declared war on them and we are trying to wipe them out. Before we get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the love on the previous episode. I really, really appreciate it. And if we could do a similar amount, you know, if you are enjoying this and you want to see more Thrones of Britannia content, then make sure to hit that like button and also comment down below. And on top of that, I'm also doing a giveaway. So if you're watching this in the next three or four days, there's a good chance my giveaway is still running. The link to it will be down below in the description and you can go ahead and win yourself a free copy of Thrones of Britannia. But let's jump straight back into the campaign where we last left off. Alfred the Great just had just taken this province away from East Anglia. They were pushing up one of their allied no. armies right here. However, we were being supported Impossible. by South uh, Sussex right here. They were coming in to give us some uh, support, which was really nice of them. Just basically making sure that they couldn't come in and see us because they had to be careful. We do have a notification saying that this is going to be unhappy, but that's obviously to be expected considering that we have just conquered the province. I'm pretty sure we were ready just to simply end the turn at the end of last episode. Now we have to be a little bit cautious. Oh, declaration of friendship. So yeah, this is kind of the new non-aggression. And I've definitely noticed in Thrones of Britannia that other factions do tend to try and do more diplomacy, which is good to see because I, I really dislike previous Total Wars. Diplomacy is just so pointless in them as they honestly just don't even do anything. Like half the time the AI will just say no to like, everything. And even when they say yes, it's proof they don't really do anything because of it. Whereas at least in Thrones of Britannia, the AI does try to do stuff and they're much more inclined to accept stuff, which I think is the overall uh, thing that grasps me in Thrones of Britannia. It's less about the AI cheating and more about kind of just difficulty through story missions and events happening in the campaign, which is something I much prefer. I really despise uh, seeing like, like a one province AI faction with four full stacks or something, which is what we see in Attila Total War. Um, at least that's just my opinion. So nice, we have a new general. So I guess we'll boost up his champion, right? Because yeah, he's a general. Yeah, he's a, he's my new general, right? Um, even though Quartermaster is so good, actually, we'll pick that up. Because he's going to be more of a garrison general in Winchester. who will just kind of roam the lands, keeping peace everywhere. We also are building a court school as well, which does take away a bit of our money. But it improves public order and also gives us more XP every single turn for our generals. And more research as well, which is very nice. I think at the top tier, it does 30% um, research and 8 experience for our generals every single turn. Which is really going to help out and, and build up. I also really like as well as when you click on a province, you can actually see the general uh, or the governor of that province right there. I think that's a really nice addition. So as I was saying, we want to spend, I think, a decent amount of our money on our farms now, if we can. So do we have any low tier farms? We're getting more food from here, improving this to a hunting camp and this to a better grazing place. We're already improving farms. We should get a big load of food in actually next turn, but... I think, again, we're just going to improve Winchester that little bit more, um, or at least the region of Winchester. Oh, that's expensive. That is very expensive, but hopefully be worth it. Um, and it is really happy as well, so I might improve this because it does give us a good amount of money and gives us more income from salt buildings in the region. <laughs> God, there'll be, there'll be mounds of salt after I'm done with the Vikings. We also have a new tech as well. Nice. So we've gone ahead and unlocked our next tier of elite infantry. That's good. So we could get 15 melee attack for infantry or more shield effectiveness for swords. We don't have anything else. Oh, we do actually have trade unlocked. Could get a tavern. I don't think we need that. I think military, obviously we're at war right now. We're trying to build up our military strength. I think getting the extra 15 melee skill. Melee, that's a lot of melee. Is that like supposed to be melee attack? Yeah, that's supposed to be like melee attack now. That's a lot of extra. Especially now we can now recruit these guys as well if we have the money. I mean, I've spent all my money. But we can now get these elite sword infantry, which is something I am definitely looking forward to. So our ally did manage to push back their army. 
I kind of almost want to wait another turn and get a bit more replenishment because our army isn't really that healthy, honestly. We'll stick up this reinforcement army there. Like, I think I'd much prefer to just give my, my army a little bit extra time. This army can run Ravage, uh, a Rampid, I should say, around the enemy. But we also have to be careful because... These are Vikings, right? Yeah, these are seafaring Vikings. We got a few notifications last episode as well saying that, you know, there have been rumours about Vikings coming from the uh, the east. So we do have to be somewhat careful and we always have to try and protect our southern borders as well. Because one of the worst things that could happen right now is say one of my vassals declare war on me through an event or something, you know? And then I have to suddenly, you know, I'm split. Where do I send my armies? Because Britain isn't actually a small place, and because Wessex is so big at the beginning of the campaign, you know, it's hard to kind of maneuver around the battlefield, as it were, to, to you know, maneuver, maneuver around the campaign map. So who are you? This is something I would like to see, like, I would like to be able to pull up the family tree right now, because I don't have a clue who this guy is, you know? I mean, she, oh god, that's not good. Should I intervene? It would lower my faction leaders. Yeah, and again, like, I don't know how impactful this is. So I'd love for it to be, like, have the ability to be able to see, you know, what my current influence is, etc, etc. I mean, his loyalty isn't great already. So having this wealthy wench to do it. But she does give more money. But is he a governor? Again, I don't know if he's a good governor or not. So I don't know if that would help him out. Um, I'm going to just give my blessing. You know, he's got a lower loyalty. So who is he? Like, it's annoying having to, to see that, like, now. Can I see where you, what you're governing? Can I, is there anywhere I can see that? Like, just jump to it? Because that's, like, to jump to it. There we go. Zoom to location. So you're the lord of this province up here, which isn't really anything too uh, important. I'll quickly do with these level ups really quickly. Um, so, again, you are a governor, so just more management or more money would be good there. It's a shame you didn't level up as well, because if you did level up, uh, I could have done with that. We get more governorship next turn as well, which reduces construction costs. I want to also get zeal as well. Probably zeal would be a good idea over here. Um, but yeah, our food has jumped up, but I think we want to continue to put the pressure uh, on getting more food. More food, more soldiers, etc, etc. Can we get another garrison post there, maybe, up here in the north? Because where is this province? Where is the... Because that's one of the things I kind of found a little bit difficult. Is finding out where the main province is. I mean, it's not too hard if you just look, but... Okay, cool. So, let's see if we have any extra estates we can give him. Just to keep him happy. Um, so, we only have one estate ourselves, Which isn't great. I kind of just want to tell him to bog off. I could try and secure his loyalty. I could just have him killed. <laughs> Honestly, could just have him killed. Um, so, where is he? Let's see what events we can do. So, we can secure his loyalty. We could get him, give him a divorce, lower influence... So I could strip his estate from him. It's going to cost us some money, but I guess it's the best thing we can do. Um, so we can go ahead and pay the bribe, but we've already paid a, a decent amount of money. Bribe with words. We lose a bit of influence, but we do have seven influence. I don't want to gain, like, what is this trait as well? Why doesn't it tell me what the trait is? That's so annoying. I don't know what this trait gives me. I guess we'll bribe with words. And hope that doesn't affect us too much. I mean, it has boosted our economy up quite nicely. We're making some good cash right now. Oh, there's loads of armies here. So you're just a random army, option. right? Yeah, you're nothing to do with me. Oh, let's get it. Um, so I want to see where you you are. Oh yeah, so you've come in here. So you probably seized this opportunity to push in. My men yearn to prove themselves. And then what is this? Can we see? We can't even see Your that as well, which is a little bit annoying. Well, his army must be replenishing, right? Because he's only he only would have just built that in the past couple of turns. I think what we're going to do is we're going to push up, take this away from the enemy. Um, I don't even know what it is yet. We are just going to occupy because it's an outer village. And it's in a pretty good position as well, uh, giving us great vision. Uh, so it is a farm. That's perfect. Having more farms is amazing. And I will try and recruit, actually, some of our royal fens. Um... No, am I pronouncing that right? Probably not. Because I shouldn't boost this up. No, that doesn't boost that up. Because these are like elite soldiers. Also, how do I know? Is it just anyone who is called Select Fjord Spearman? Because I imagine these guys are classed as that. So, like, how do I know who is classed as this and who isn't? 
because like is it just all of these guys or because they've got their name or is it just my low tier infantry but i mean these are all tier one so it's kind of hard to uh to tell honestly what ones are what i mean i'm sure there is something which just shows me but i'm just being stupid maybe if i click on them I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there is a way, and you guys can tell me at the end of this episode. So whilst we're doing that, I also want to push the in this army, to, which is following up. I want to push them into the city. Um, so just so they keep well. this happy, um, reduce the unhappiness, and then obviously protect me from any invaders coming down here and trying to assault us. Uh, and our army is up here. Alfred is leading, and he's getting his men back slowly but surely. Obviously, being in newly conquered land is not going to be great for our replenishment, but it will go up slowly. Um, and obviously having a farm here as well definitely helps. We should also give us another estate, which is also quite nice. Uh, we only have 600 gold left. I'm probably just going to save it for next turn um, and continue on our conquest. So don't worry, guys. I know it's only been 11 minutes, but I do want to try and get a battle win as soon as possible. Where did that East Angular army go? Hmm. They're going over there. Nice. My vassal is taking some land. I'm wondering why the other faction is like mirroring them. A little bit confusing, but that's good. You know, I'm happy that my allies at least creating a buffer with everyone else for me, and we can kind of focus elsewhere. Um, we're actually going to go past the place I was born as well, which is really cool. You know, being English and having this game, um, you know, there is, is, is really cool to kind of actually go past the places. Oh, where else? Where I live? Or that's where I was born, etc. So one of the Viking uh, has fallen. All minor Viking sea factions in Ireland will become vassals of Delphin. So that's going to be a big Viking nation in Wales now. I mean in um, Ireland. The fleets of Norman raiders have arrived. Oh no, so this is what I was a little bit scared of happening. Can't be done. But we're not at war. But I mean, I imagine we're going to. Okay, okay. So this army has to we're come back home now. Has to. Um, it's going to be a while, but yeah, you guys have to make your way back, meaning that you guys are going to be unhappy. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and... Mm, this is difficult because we are obviously at war and we can't just not be aggressive. I think we're definitely going to come down here and take this next. Um, we don't want their army to take any land, so we're going to come down here. Again, we're just going to occupy. Doesn't help with happiness, but, you know, whatever. Generals leveled up. So Viking armies, this is what I was saying was probably the difficulty about this campaign. Is not so much that, like, it's a hard start, but more the fact that there's just so many enemies pouring in um, from all different directions. And, I mean, Alfred has to be fighting that war. I mean, granted, we can probably recruit... No, we can't even recruit any of these guys yet. I guess we'll get another unit of uh, dudes here. But yeah, like, it'd be nice if I clicked on this. If it would just tell me up here, like my limit, and if it goes up past it, I imagine all of like these low tier units, like these tier units, are bad thing, and then these are more imperial. It doesn't like tell me anywhere. Oh, we got up to twenty four as well because we've taken a bit more land. That's good. Do you guys count as it? You do. Okay, so even these long axes count. Like it's just kind of hard to to manage, right? And this province is obviously extremely unhappy. 9% chance for rebellion, but not much I can really do at this current time. You are having to come back to defend the lands, because there is only, what, 13 of them. And we're not at war either, so it does leave London uh, undefended. Well, they've gone down there to the south. I mean, it's kind of smart um, to do that, because they can't beat our armies whilst we're combined. So it's a good idea to go and try and harass elsewhere. Oh, they've come in there and actually taken back some land. But that should hopefully open up for my ally too. Because, yeah, my ally's army is over here fighting abroad. And they've used the sea to their advantage. Not a bad move there, AI. Not a bad move. But I might go and seek out their army. We'll see what the turn does have for us. And they're making their way over here. Yeah, that scared me a little bit, honestly. <laughs> oh, so bread and circus. Hold a feast. Take up 2,000 gold. We have a lot of gold. Uh, count of a party. Oh, we could get some money. Uh, focus on farming. Some more money. I think just hold a feast. Yeah, let's have some public order. We have the cash to do it. Let's go ahead and hold a, a mighty party. Yeah. Nice little public order bonus everywhere. Should keep provinces like this actually quite happy. And minimize the chance of a rebellion here. Because it's a 6% chance at the moment. And obviously, as we can see. Yeah, that's coming our way. 
so let's continue to move our army back it'll be back in winchester in two turns time you're still mustering a few extra soldiers if we can muster anyone else no our recruitment pool really needs to step up we have a 26 percent chance of replenishing these spearmen every turn and we're still not kind of annoying but hopefully we'll get back in time nice though we went ahead and completed our offensive tactics uh, which now gives us access to 15 melee attack that's really good on our infantry so this would boost our retinue swords. So, oh, it's like a, the next upgrade for axemen. Oh, okay. So that'd improve our swords and our axemen. Or we could improve some spearmen, get some better spears. I think we'll get better spears because we have a lot of spears and it only takes three turns to pick this up. Um, so you can see things are start like, because I think what we recruited enough spearmen to start unlocking this tree, which is nice. We also have uh, some military, some fist fighting. What does this do? I don't know. I can't just click on the, like right click on it and it tells me. Like, I'll give, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Warhammer. Like, it's a good game, but, like, some of the UI changes in Warhammer are just so nice. It's a real shame they don't translate elsewhere. So I'm hoping Kemp will just come in and take this army out. Because I also want to move up and try and take out more land, honestly. You know, I don't want to just sit back with Alfred, but... Maybe we will just retreat back, try and encourage their army to come back, and... I mean, that does look like the Stark... That, look, that looks so much like the Stark Direwolf right there. I mean, we know it's a, we know it's a, like an, an eagle, but still, like from a distance, that looks like the North remembers. The men are ready to um, serve. Yeah, let's move our back into the city again. Get our replenishment back, uh, which will be nice. Our army is getting up there. We await your still, no more really elite units we can pick up, but I'm I'm happy with our army. And then we're preparing for their invasion if they do come. Now, I built a garrison post here, so this should help out this region a lot. Um, our farms are vulnerable down here in the south, honestly. But we will just sit back and take it. And I guess I'll upgrade this as well. Again, it reduces our money, but gives us public order. And the church as well would be nice. Because that does improve our fame. And fame is actually quite an interesting thing. Is it? No, that's in economy. Uh, fame does give you uh, a lot more bonuses. And also, the more fame you have, the uh, you can actually do some of these victories as well. Like Obviously, you want to go for the ultimate victory. Complete the long victory type by eliminating the Viking invasions fleets so you know we'll have to kill them and that's obviously to come later that's like the end game crisis just like chaos so i guess we will end the turn i really want to see what these guys do before doing anything crazy but next yes this is exactly what i wanted to have happen um but oh, they didn't land no i really really wanted them to land so that we could catch them we could go out to see them fight them like we could actually do that um which is kind of cool i like that kind of style right um if only in thrones of britannia you could actually like tie your ships together if you put them in a group or something and it'd be more like viking combat of the time where you try and consolidate them. so they did actually just declare war on me as well great so we got our army coming back this should be okay to deal with but we are going to having but do they not we're not in range oh they weren't in range that's good for us oh no they, they did they sacked this settlement down uh yeah that's food as well luckily we do have a nice little bit of food reserve good order our army's going to get down here next turn. So they're going to be able to run a, probably a little bit of rampage, but we'll be able to deal with that, uh, you know, very soon. It's a shame we don't have a garrison post built in Winchester, because um, that would be reducing their movement speed right now by, what, 20%, I think it is? No, 50%. So good. So goddamn good. Uh, more governorship. Let's go ahead and uh, let's boost up zeal. What's zeal? Bard? Yeah, let's... And this also reduces enemy movement speed as well. It's so good. Priest is good for like keeping people happy. Uh, that's better for food, right? Or enemy supplies. And yeah, stopping foreign replen. Oh my god, the top tier stops foreign replenishment. That is amazing if you're trying to fight. If you're a smaller nation and you're fighting against bigger people, that is just such a good ability. But I want to get a public order um, for sure. Especially up here in the north where we could be attacked and stuff. Public order is just nice. Um, that doesn't really help. So let's go and pick up the extra management. And then finally, we have you of... Where are you? You're down... Are you... Yeah, you are the dude of this. So maybe picking up Pillager would not be a bad idea. Enemy morale? Ah, uh, let's just get this. Why not? Because you have... You're awful. Oh, no, you're a general. What the hell am I doing? You're a general. Uh, let's reset that. And let's boost up your command. Let's give you a command. You're not very good. <laughs> you're not very good, my dude. Um, but again, you're never going to be, hopefully, one of my offensive generals. You're going to be more of a defensive general. 
So as I said, we could go and fight them, honestly, at sea. But I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'd much rather them landing and then we go take them out. So let's go ahead and situate our force there. Oh, the Vikings have actually settled right there as well, the invading army. War declared, where is this? Over in Wales, plenty of people. The salt has been built, perfect timing. Um, why are you unhappy? I know you're, yeah, we know you're unhappy. And this needs repairs, but there's no point repairing. Oh, I might try and repair the, uh, the farm at least. Okay, let's see what they do. Our army will be there next turn. You're going to go to the city? Oh, fuck. I did not realize that they could do that. No! Oh, I totally didn't think that. Oh, I don't know why I... Why am I such a knave? They didn't take the city, though. They just raided it. But, oh, why am I so dumb? But to be fair, that's, like, actually a tactic. That's actually, like, an error someone would make in this time period. You know, there's so many, uh, so many times where it's, like... Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to march my entire army out and go and try and defend this river crossing and the Vikings just carried on going and attacked somewhere else. So they're going to continue to go off. But, oh, they actually took a province and our general died in battle as well, or our governor. That's so annoying. Our army is fully replenished, though, but I just don't know. If, and they're pretty depleted. I feel like we just take them at sea, right? They're just as bad as us, as us, and I think we do just fight them. Uh, well, who's unloyal to me? Who dares to break their loyalty? It says someone is. This character has low loyalty. I mean, what is it? What is? What do I care if he has low loyalty? He's nobody, right? Or is it one of my sons? Oh yeah, no, it's this guy. It's my heir has low loyalty. Are you one of my generals? Why is your loyalty so low? Can I see? Uh, oh, he lost his estate. Well, I'll take it and give it back to you, my dude. No, wait. Why did you lose your estate? I didn't take away any land. Oh, you lost this? The Vikings came down here and took this, but you never. I never owned this. This was someone else's. The men are ready to but, uh, well, 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 we'll come down here and I'll, I'll, I'll get you an estate, my dude. Don't you worry. Um, so our army has fully formed up now. You're a good commander as well, right? Yeah, you got six command. Definitely very good. Uh, continue just to make him a beast. Uh, the next one gives him a real good bonus to his bodyguard. I mean, you haven't really got the best units, so this army could definitely take us down if they, they tried hard enough. Um, but we'll move down here. We have another general to level up as well. Um, oh, this is Alfred. Good old Alfred did level up. I think the extra upkeep cost is nice. And we also get a little bit cheaper units as well. Um, yeah, so we, we need to give him an estate, basically. And he should be happy. Um, I have two as well. Why did I... Do, I, like, took one of his estates for some reason. Um, have this one over here. And um, that should sort him out. Yeah, he's happy again. He's a happy boy once again. Uh, we do need a new governor, though, of this place. Um, we'll do that in a second as well. And then repairing this. Yeah, which we can do. But yeah, I think I'm going to I'm gonna go out and fight this army. I don't see why not. We'll have the support of the city as well. They're going to run away, but we should catch them. So we do lose the support of the city, but we, we have the advantage right now. Now, we're obviously not the best at naval combat, but this should be fun. Like, I feel like just fighting land battles is cool, but this is kind of more about the error, right? Naval battles and stuff are pretty cool. Now, I can't imagine this is going to be like... I don't think they've made much different, like many improvements or changes from Attila naval combat. Like, it has been more about the, you know, the land battles and stuff. But it'll be cool anyway. Uh, nice dry day. It does look pretty good. Oh, the ships do look nice as well. Like, the ships do look pretty cool. Um, so, obviously... God, their navy looks quite superior to me, even though we do hold the advantage. But, I mean, I think they have a lot less people on their ships. I say that, yeah. Some of these ships are a lot weaker than others. Um, so, I think I want on my front line my, my strongest ships. So, you ships go there. Uh, then, these guys are pretty good as well. You go on the right flank. I'm going to have all my archer ships, like, completely on the flanks. 
Okay, so I formed up quite nicely. I've gone ahead and stuck my elite soldiers in the front. I've sent some of my weaker spearmen and axemen on the other flanks with a large contingent of cavalry units over on this right-hand side. I'm basically just going to try and push forward, smash the enemy center, and then kind of devour the flanks as well. So let's go ahead and just commit everyone to these combat situations. Um, I also have some archer units as well I want to try and use somewhat effectively. We have our axemen here try and break through. Alfred will make his way up as well, along with all of these ships also going up as well. So let's go ahead and send up these ships. Uh, we have a huge amount of archer ships here, which I want to obviously use to my advantage, so we'll, we'll set them around there. And we have all these horse ships as well, which I don't really know what to do, but we'll just throw them in anyway. We'll get the archers. I guess we'll change the archers to fire ammunition. Try and take them out. They're actually just like horsemen there. So yeah, here we go. The first nice little combat here. We'll push up more of our men. Alfred doesn't actually get any of his abilities here whatsoever. And we've got a lot of uh, combat going on here as well. No, they actually managed to uh, land against our, our good ships there, which is not good. But we're moving in more of our ships. Our, na our archer ships are moving around there. Let's do some slow-mo because, you know, there's a lot of you know, strategy involved in these. Uh, well, not so much strategy involved in these naval battles, but they look cool, you know. I want this, like, kind of feel, right, where you do have all of these kind of ships combined together because something the Vikings used to do quite often to protect their ships and kind of form a, almost like a mobile battlefield was just tile their ships together. And that way you'd have, like, a normal battlefield going on um, as if you were on land, but obviously the Vikings were much better at that type of combat. So let's move in more of our ships. Alfred is also pushing up. Alfred's actually taking a bit of a pounding here, but I really want to try and break that center flank. Archer ships come round. And I guess all these naval ships come round as well, because we are winning across the board. So because we are winning across the board, we should hopefully dominate this. And I really want to try and smash these Axemen, because it will free up a large portion of our ships. As, as Alfred's ship just comes flying in there. And Alfred, as Alfred himself just diving in, I think that was, that was actually Alfred, did you guys see that? He screamed Alendia and charged into battle. Uh, our archer ship's coming around, let's go around and start smashing their soldiers. We're winning elsewhere, which is nice. And we're breaking them here, perfect. Let's move on now. Where's their general ship? Their general is here, and Alfred is just across from that. So yeah, their elite soldiers are scattered around here. Oh, we're making quick work of our infantry here. What unit is this? This is my elite unit right here. Yeah, this is my strongest unit of new sword infantry, the royal. Good, good, good. I can't believe Alfred just being an absolute crazy boy right there. Yeah, I mean, they should start to break now. We should send in more of our ships just to help out. We are actually losing over on this side. It's probably because they've deployed a lot more ships. And we've got like cavalrymen here. So yeah, we should probably try and send some more units over here. In the center though, we did exactly what I wanted to have happen. We smashed them in the center, which is perfect. Um, now it's just kind of turning our ships around here. Kind of maybe coming in the backs. Alfred himself. Yeah, we need to hit that general unit as well if we can. Nice, you guys have won as well. Let's bring these guys around. The rest of their ships are all routing as well. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, now Alfred's turned up. We are, we are dominating the battlefield. So how do they, they go over here probably, Alfred? Ships awaiting command. Yeah, their general is, there's, there's their king right there. No, Alfred, you need to get in there. Same with you guys as well. Get in and, and kill their men, please. Yeah, perfect. Nice little bit of naval combat. I enjoyed that. It's very different to just normal land battles, but it was quite fun, especially because it's, you know, quite telling of the era. I quite enjoyed that. It's just, not, it's just a shame you can't do more with it. Granted, like, not many people play naval battles, but I think they would. If they, if they were more mechanics to them, right, I think more people would give them a go. And you didn't just have, like, ships clipping through and stuff. Like, I think if, if... I mean, it's quite hard to design them, I would imagine, but... I think you could. The enemy general dead. Let's go ahead and keep on pushing. Our archers were all trying to shoot this, but they're kind of struggling to take it out. We're about to win that, and then you guys just come round here, help out, finish off their last couple units. There we go. Even, even ramming them. Oh my god, some of their ships are setting ablaze. Jesus. Don't, oh no, do not cause a fire to spread throughout my fleet. I hope that is not a mechanic. Please don't burn as their ship just goes down. Is that like a fire ship? 
Oh my god. If that sets the blaze to my fleet, I will not be happy. Oh, I don't think that is a mechanic in this game. Thank the gods. It's just killing this last unit of swordmen. And we'll be good. We're trying to send more soldiers to help out, but it's kind of hard. It's, it's like their last unit. They have left remaining. Yeah, literally their last unit. Alfred as well. If you can get over here, Alfred, because you should break them very, very quickly. We'll just... Yeah, we're, we're piling in now. This is a battlefield. We're just piling in now. They've got their last couple units there. Shouldn't be hard, though. Yeah, they're, they're falling back to their ship. We've got, like, everyone pouring in from both sides. Is this Alfred's unit? Alfred is a monster. Because you remember in the last episode where he... Oh, God, get off, Alfred. End the battle. Yeah, end the battle. Yep, yep. Don't, don't take Alfred down with you. My God, I'm glad I quit that battle quickly before that ship did die and killed all of Alfred's unit or something. Uh, but yeah, if you guys remember last episode, Alfred was actually the uh, the dude first off the siege tower. Who cares that if he's sickly, he is he's a good warrior. Was Alfred actually a good warrior in like in history, or was he more of a, a strategist? Because I don't like I'm not really that knowledgeable about this period of English history, so I, I'd be interested to find out. Uh, if you guys want to let me know in the comments, killing the Starks is always nice. Hopefully the North will not remember. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll take on the 1% replenishment as well. So we're getting some good experience on our army as well. We do want to go back into the city though because it's going to be... Oh, it's not even unhappy. That's good. And hopefully when everything is repaired, it'll be perfect. So we do need a governor over here. So we need to recruit someone else. Um, anyone good for that? Naval movement for commanding force. None of this stuff is really that great. So we'll just take the youngest guy because I assume he's most likely to have the least influence. And he's even quite loyal as well. That's good. We might have to boost that loyalty at some point, honestly. Um, so yeah, you're unhappy. Not much I can do about it. And you need to be repaired. We do have our army we garrisoned here. And we will probably try and recruit a few more units. So do you guys boost that up? So you guys don't boost that up either. I guess it's just these, like, these guys. Just wish I knew. I just wish I knew. God damn it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, you're replenishing now, Alfred. Should be okay. Because you're docked, you get a bit more replenishment. Not by any means. Just go into the city. Oh, I'd just rather... Marches with us. What's better? Oh, it's just the same. I'd much rather you be on foot. And we have killed their army now. You're going back to reclaim back your city. Um, then we should just be able to send our army northwards, taking this land as we go. Okay, I look forward to doing that. Any other food provinces we can improve? We have like four grand, so it makes sense if we did have some extra cash just lying around uh, to maybe boost up some more of these farms. Um, definitely maybe boost up these mines. So there's a silver mine over here. That's a large amount of money we could pick up there. We'll obviously reduce public order, but we do have two churches here anyway, which I guess help really compensate for the extra food, uh, for the extra unhappiness. And I guess we'll pick up another, a better farm as well up here in the north. Now that's a little bit risky because we could be raided by Mercia, but me and Mercia, uh, you know, we had a declaration of friendship, um, so that should hold up. I still don't know why we're getting... War further. War further measures your people's appetite for war. On higher difficulty settings, you lose more war further for each war you are engaged in. Oh, so do we have to be at peace or what? If we're at peace, it's a bit better. Um, I, I, guess, I guess people do get tired over time. And I, I kind of like what they're trying to do there with it. Because I feel like Total War is far too much about Total War. Which seems dumb, right? You know, obviously it should be about conquering. But there's never any downside. Normally what happens in Total War campaigns is you declare war on someone and then you're in an eternal war and then everyone else just b jumps in and you're basically in a constant war. Oh god, this is going to be an interesting battle. We have crappy units. And by the looks of it, they have some pretty decent ones. We're going to lose this battle. Oh no, we're going to lose this battle. Okay, well, we're going to fight it anyway. God damn Viking raids, man. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like, you're always in like an eternal war and you just never stop. And there's no like peace and there's never any... Why did they get the village? We hold it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that seems dumb. Um, so like, I really like more of like a, you know, oh, because like, you know, Rome and Carthage didn't just fight one eternal war. They fought several wars, you know, like, I'd love that. I'd like that more of a feeling than just, oh, uh, me and this huge empire are now fighting one another. So why the hell did they get the city? <laughs> Makes no sense. Um, yeah, this battle is, is lost. I'm pretty sure our infantry are just not good enough. But maybe we can pull something out. 
of our backsides and claim victory. We do have some archers, but yeah, even our good infantry as well are not great. You know, they're so depleted that it's just going to be difficult for them to really get stuck in. Our general with 116 men. This is a good commander as well. No, I didn't expect them to be able to muster. I guess I just kind of forgot about them and just allowed them to build up. Um, they declared war with me. So we have 20 minutes. I might try and change our battle timer to like 40, just in case. And we obviously have the defensive position, but... You know, I don't think these shield castles are going to help us too much. Because it does give, you know, missile block chance, but it doesn't give any actually any other bonus stats. And yeah, these, these like sword infantry are really depleted. These look cool though. Yeah, these are just basic sword infantry as well, so it's not even like they're that good. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Fuck, man. We're going to have to muster an army in Wessex or Winchester immediately after this. I just didn't think they were going to attack me, because when I last looked, they had 13 men. So I guess I must have recruited 7 men in the past, like, little bit. So our archers are up now. I guess archers shoot their general as soon as he's in range, and we just have to hope. That's the problem as well. Spearman time round. Um, archers, yeah, archers just unload on his general, try and... Oh, they've got their own archers, right? Or javelins. I'd actually much rather kill the javelins. Please say you're facing that. Oh, we managed to catch their cavalry. Good, good, good. Try and take that out. Archers are all focusing down the general. Try and take down as many men as possible. We can kill his cavalry early. That'd be perfect. Yeah, just unload archers. I think they have their own skirmishes, so it's kind of like a bit of back and forth. Yeah, they have some of their own archers, but I'm more than okay just to hit their general whilst he reforms. Throws back that cavalry after killing a few of them. Just reform. Just reform. Reform the line! Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, you guys just need to keep on rotating around, making sure our archers are protected. Did we manage to form it? Not quite, just about, actually. Yeah, the AI's, the AI's got their own archers, so that's what they're using, but I'm I'm kind of okay. If I can take down a few of their generals, we're not even taking care of any of these generals. Let's just take out the archers, then. How are we doing on the other side? Okay, they're coming in there. Okay, okay, okay. Good thing I actually paid attention there. Oh, the Axemen aren't going to be able to deal with that either. Because they don't have Shield Castle. Oh, we managed to route? Oh, we routed the cavalry over here on the left-hand side. But they'll probably come back. Form Shield Castle. That should stop them in their tracks. We'll also throw over some of our spearmen as well. The archers are still hitting their archers. Yeah, they're pushing up with a large force now. I just, I just don't think our infantry can handle this. But we've killed their, their cavalry, which is really nice, actually. But everything else is just far too much of a problem. General, all is set. So the cavalry dealt with? Nice. So the cavalry has been killed as well. They just have a lot of axes as well. Oh, that's good. Not good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's try and do our best. We want to try and outflank them. Where are our axes? Axes are here. Come around the flank and try and envelop them um, quickly. Same with this elite infantry. We're going to try and make a big amount of pressure on that right flank. Um, our general, I think, just charges center, tries to take them out. And same with this infantry as well. All of our missiles, again, continue to shoot their back line there. You guys immediately come around as well. Oh, I think we just need to push up their, their back line. Hopefully, our archers will just take care of theirs. Infantry clashing. And again, we'll do some slow-mo. So even though we're going to lose this battle, hopefully we can cause enough damage to them, but we're not going to be able just to replenish this force immediately. So we, we have enough time to muster. So now it's time to just try and kill as many of them as possible. I really did underestimate how quickly they could get their men. And it's going to be a little while to get used to that, I think. Um, definitely try and push in here now. Same with you guys. I mean, these are like good infantry, though. These are like tier 2 axemen. Wow. But we have some axemen of our own, so... I mean, hopefully that'll be okay. How are the rest of our archers doing? Still just shooting them. Yeah, our men are going to break here. Fuck, that's not good. Yeah, our spearmen dying to what? They're tier 2 sword infantry, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that's good, men. 
Uh, that is some good, good men. And they've got Axeman coming around the back of my formation as well. Let's try and pop our rally here. Did manage to rally everyone. I mean, we have come around theirs, but I mean, even though they're being flanked, they're Vikings. Alfred might have to come home, honestly, to deal with this. Like, I'm not even joking. Alfred might literally have to come home and deal with this army. Because he has, like, our most elite soldiers and... Oh, no. What do you guys think, though? Do you guys think I should change the time limit to 20 to, to 40 minutes? Because we'll never hit 40 minutes. But I kind of like that condition. But I also don't want to have an, like an epic battle end prematurely. Yeah, this is a rout. Our army is going to just break. Their men are so good. Even though we've enveloped them, it's just not going to look great. Also, some of our soldiers are coming back. It's just not really going to be enough, is it? Yeah, they're curving around this flank now. Kill their general, that would be good. I mean, I managed to break here as well. Oh, we have broken them a little bit. Where are them long axes? The long axes need to get round here. You guys continue to chase. Oh, and we have our elite infantry as well. Oh, we need to come round here, though, and help our general. Um, yeah, shoot in the back of there. You guys fight there. You guys are going to break, but that's fine. Axes come in flying here. Trying to kill their general if we can. Nice, we routed that back unit, that's perfect. I'll just continue to shoot then. If you got oh no, these are fanes, yeah. These are fanes are supposed to come around and help us, right? You guys are just killing their routing units. It's a shame we don't have any cavalry in this army. Just one unit of cavalry could have gone a mile. Nice, we're breaking them, come on. Everyone in, we want to kill their general. If we can kill their general, I think we might win this battle, or at least have a good chance of winning this battle. You guys are still chasing down routed units, which is what we need. We can't let their men come back. You guys are shooting arrows into their back, so hopefully this elite unit of infantry can just keep them at bay whilst our arrows do the work. Yeah, look how many kills each of our arrows do. We do have some more spearmen coming in. Continue to push, boys. This blob, this blob led by... And the enemy general has been killed. This is huge. Oh, my God. Are we going to we gonna take this back from the, the jaws of defeat? We just need to break this big blob right there. You're still fighting them there. Come on, let's go. Come on, route, route, route. Our archers being left alone. It's been great. I don't want to change the fire arrows, though. And I also want to make sure we continue to chase them down as well. Yeah, make sure we continue to chase their soldiers down so they don't just simply come back. Our general will come back to this big blob right there. Maybe with another unit of elite infantry. Yeah, you guys come back as well. Our archers just, again, still shooting in there. I mean, we're going to win this battle, but at a heavy cost. Like, they're going to be back. Oh, my God, though. What a battle. What a battle. Okay, archers shoot over here now. Because they can obviously get their men to come back from routing. So I want to try and I want to try and take down as many of these guys as possible as they do route. Oh, that was close. We lost pretty much our entire army. Our spear line is battered. It was the Axemen who did that. That was a close battle. Our, our spearmen, honestly, I think in, I think the, the general in the center gave us enough bonuses that our battle line didn't just break immediately. Like, because he was such a good general. Yeah, look at that. 300 kills on him. If it wasn't for him, we would have lost that. 238 on this unit of swords as well. 107 on the unit that was very depleted. God damn, yeah. It's their men getting a ton of kills as well. We 666 left remaining. We only just managed to beat them back there. Um, I think we have to take them for replenishment. Uh, we can chase their army down, actually. Um, which we're going to do. Uh, make sure we, we kill them and take them out. Okay, so one of another faction has been killed. Don't know where that is. Enemy general killed in battle. Perfect. Oh god, we were so lucky there that we managed to uh, beat them. We really, really were. Um, and, I mean, we're only just course. back, but I want to make sure we kill their army. I honestly do want to siege this out. This is actually my vassals. Yeah, this is my vassals' land. Like, it's annoying. I can't just give it back to them. I really wish they did put that back in the game. Honestly, um, nice. So we can actually upgrade all our spearmen as well. Anything else? Do I, I think I want to get the spearmen just to be a little bit better. Because if they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of the other we infantry, that'd be great. Hearts. So why can't you guys retrain? Uh, retraining not possible. Oh, oh wait, there's no way there's another tier. Oh, it's this tier. Okay, so it's the best of spear infantry. Um, okay, well, we definitely do this. And I'll chase them into their... I want to kill their army. I don't want it to survive. Oh, 
Yep, nice little kill right there. That's what happens to Vikings if they come to Wessex, you know. I'll take my money. Forward as one. Killed their general in battle again. We now we're going to go back to friendly power. territory so we get some replenishment. Not a lot, but we'll get Soon some. And if they awesome. muster another army here, then we'll siege them out. But I don't think we might not. We might not even have enough to... I don't know, the garrison's awful. We could take this, but ideally I want these guys to take it back. Because it's like their province, you know? I don't want to just, you know, take control. I'm so glad, though, we don't have to bring back Alfred. Alfred can just maintain his, uh, his march northwards and, you know, continue to take out their lands. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, we, could actually, we actually are in range of this province as well. Great, we'll just occupy it. And we're just out of from Colchester. And this is actually where I grew up right now. That's where I was born in Colchester. I was born, I think, like this little place right here. I think it's, oh no, I was born in Colchester, but I'm from like this little island right here, which is so cool. Like, that's awesome. Um, so nice. We might as well repair this as well as we do take it out. Because that region's not going to be happy with me. Public order wise is everywhere. Everywhere's happy apart from East Sussex. Yeah, that's fine. Or East Sex. It's, you know, whatever. Same, same. Um, so you're just fine there for now. I think we want to try and maybe recruit. Oh, you're not in the city. I think we want to try and recruit a couple more units in that army as well, if we can. Um, we still have free ground left over. So is there anything economy-wise? Small orchard. Yeah, a bit more fun. Man. A bit more. And that actually gives me another estate as well I can give out if I do get any unhappy nobles. I would love as well for them to take that estate mechanic to the next level as well. To have it so that, you know, each estate maybe gives you a certain bonus to the character. Because at the moment, I'm pretty sure they are just like estates, right? They don't do anything. They, well, they, they, they help keep loyalty and stuff. So it's a good way to manage your, uh, your court. And I really love that. I love more management about your characters and stuff. That's awesome. But I'd love for maybe like individual ones to give you bonuses. Um, and, you know, maybe have like a power meter. And if one... Bass Baron or Vassal gets too much, you know, estates, he'll be annoyed at you or something. You know, like, I'd really love that. Hmm. I don't love, though, that you're besieging Your Colchester. At an inconvenient time. Hmm. I guess we'll bide our time. If they take Colchester, we're yeah, going to declare war on them and move in afterwards. I think that's our plan. Also, I'll get another unit of elite spearmen over here. Wait, is it? No, it doesn't even tell me. Right, no, it's annoying that it doesn't even go up when I, like, build them in the army preemptly. Um, so let's go ahead and select another unit of elite infantry, or elite spearmen. These guys are, are fairly well armoured, so they should be able to hold their own. And 43 melee attack is not bad. I mean, my infantry are fucking 64 now. That's amazing. The axemen up pretty high as well. Um, I mean, we still have two slots left in his army. Maybe another unit of archers would be nice, and, like, a unit of axemen. We have the cavalry, so... Yeah, maybe archers and a unit of uh, axemen. We have the food to do that as well. And we're now at our limit, so we can't do any more. So they have mustered another we army. I think, utmost. but we're just, we're so depleted that we'll I, I want to get my men back before deciding to attack them. But obviously, I don't want them to build up. No. I'll give them one turn. I think we need our, our one turn of replenishment. Because it's not even like we have a lot stockpiled of this infantry as well. We are bleeding our country dry. I mean, what we could do, though, maybe do like... That and then, then that gives us an extra unit to pick up there. And that'll give them a unit of axemen uh, eventually. Just a little bit better, more offensive force. Okay, let's end the turn again. And we, we made a ton of cash. Oh, so East Angular are actually down here as well. They're, they're pushing down. That, they must have like that army, maybe one more. And that's about it. Yeah, nice. You guys are taking that out as well. God, East Sussex have taken a ton of land, or East Sex. I think they call it Sussex because that's kind of like what it means. Oh, you're raiding. That's fine though, because it means we, you're not recruiting. War declared. Some people over in Ireland. But Ireland must be like all vassalized, right, if I'm not mistaken, by Dyflin. Where even is Dyflin? It's like here, right? Yeah, Dyflin should, like, vassalize all the Vikings. Fine talk will follow. But that's not even that many, honestly. There's a lot of Irish. Like, Mead isn't Viking. Mead is uh, a different culture group. But they're, oh my god, Mead are at war with everyone. Yeah, literally all the people. Because I remember this from Crusader Kings 2, all the different tribes. Um, so, who likes me now? 
out of interest. So my, my two vassals here are really friendly. You guys are somewhat friendly, but we are deteriorating for some reason. Um, oh, treaties with certain people. And then Gwent is fine. Mercia, we are kind of friends. Mercia is actually the strongest. Oh my god, Mercia have gone on a tear northwards. And that's probably who we're going to end up fighting, honestly, once we do deal with them. Uh, I mean, once we do deal with uh, East Angular, we're going to end up fighting Mercia to unify. Because we're going to need to, to unify Britain or unify England. Uh, so one of our generals did level up. Oh, this is the bad general, yeah. He is just so bad. He just has, like, no command because he's a coward. I might honestly just replace him, um, get someone a bit better. Yeah, you're just not very good. I like how you can view all traits. That's kind of cool. I mean, you're a good leader, though. Oh, no, this guy. Oh, sorry, no, this is my heir, right? Yeah, this is my heir. Yeah, he's good. He gets more melee attack for commander unit. Talented is boosting everything. Yeah, he's really good. Born commander as well. Oh, yeah, definitely get this guy. The men are ready to yeah, look how good he is already. And I haven't done anything to him. Needs a wife, though. We can maybe try and get him a wife so we can start having some more children of our own. All forces in good order. Yeah, he'll do, he'll do good. Pretty decent as well. What's this mean? Oh, it's just his age. It's like, how many, how many turns he's been alive for? I guess it is. All right. So they have now taken Matt out. I think I want to declare war on them and claim it because they must be depleted. And I want to seize this opportunity. They only have one other province. So if we just take them out, we should be good. Like, we have... Enough infantry? Granted, I wouldn't maybe mind a bit more. Our warriors can take you. Uh, everyone came in, right? Or not? I think everyone came in. And we'll seed them out for now. I mean, we're in no rush here. I've got my allies boosting up. So I'll probably build a... Oh, we can build a bunch of siege towers. That's perfect. We'll siege them out for a couple turns, I think. Uh, the walls are also pretty depleted. I oh, know the settlement strength is down, but the walls are a bit destroyed. And we could even wait out. That's one of the things I really do like in Friends of Britannia as well, is siege timers are a lot lower. You only have, I think, five turns in total in most cities. You can obviously improve that. And three turns till you start taking attrition, which is great. Because in Warhammer, it's like 11, 12 turns. And you're never going to get there. Very rarely are you going to get there. Um, okay, let's go kill their army again. And then probably siege them out. Down here, and we'll just, I guess, take it. God marches with us. God is, God does will it. Must be another one of their generals killed. I guess their king went out to prove himself to raid some cities. Um, and I'm hoping that will boost up Moving our up. A relation with West Sussex as well. We will stay or West course. Sex. No, wait, we're about. Sorry, these are. Who even are these guys? Are they East? No, South. South sex. Um, cool, cool, cool. Is everyone did join my war? Yeah, they did. We have a ton of cash now. We're making a lot of money. It's just we can't... We don't have enough replenishment at the moment. I guess we need to build some buildings to improve that, right? Um, we can build a lot of buildings to actually improve our main cities. Let's do that. Let's boost up these main province buildings um, around. So we can have basically more buildings. Um, they do obviously consume more food, I believe. But we have 120 we of it, which is perfect. Prevail. Uh, you're fine for you. are actually a market town. That'd be good to boost this up. So yeah, let's just boost all of these up. Uh, Winchester could go up again. And yeah, the more of these we get, the better, actually. But I'd also really love to get this. Because it just gives us so much research rate every single time. Really, really nice. So cool. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Next episode, we'll be fighting probably the siege over here and also the siege up against our newly formed enemies. I want it. I want it. So I'm going to take it. I am Alfred. And he is pushing on. Alfred has definitely proven himself a able siege commander. And hopefully he can continue to do so by taking out this Viking invader, sending them back to the sea whence they came so yeah make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed guys and i will see you one i'll see you guys in the next one